All right, Lee Pitts is back. We're at a night of elegance, celebrating a tremendous accomplishment by Chef Grove, Big Chef of Yes, yes Chef Creates. It's a night of elegance with a master chef. Six course meal, fashion show, comedian, live performances, everything was here. Even Lee Ford was here. Lee Ford, welcome to Lee Biz Live at A Night of Elegance. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you. How are you enjoying yourself so far? Very much. Very much. The food is delicious. And I'm telling you, that ostrich really <laughs> took me to another place. I yes. love it. Didn't even know what ostrich tastes like, right? No, sir. Next thing you know, you're going to have some kangaroo. I'm going to have to get some ostrich <laughs> kangaroo. Okay. That's my hat. Okay. That art was pretty good, wasn't it? Yes, sir. Hey, I told people, Lee, if you want some chicken, go to Kentucky Fried Chicken. There this you go. is fine dining tonight. Hey, hello, somebody. We trying some new stuff. That's right. Hey, Lee, what's your overall thoughts about the progress that Richard Smith has made as a chef and contributing to the community? I remember some years ago when he had the uh, chicken and waffle on Martin Luther, on uh, Michigan, at the corner of Michigan, and now Shoemaker. I used to, I worked with him, and I used to bring people to his place. To eat. You know, I mean, folks that spend money and have meetings in his place to help him with his business, because he had himself, his wife, his kids, everybody working in the place. Yeah. Beautiful effort and a family business. And, I, and I'll help them with some counsel and a month mentoring and trying to help them get to the next level. And that's what I do, Lee. You know that, though. I don't have to tell right. you anything. But that's my thing. Right. If I can help you get to the next level, that's what I want to do. And to see him overcome a lot of challenges and setbacks and have this night right here where people get to, it's like the Super Bowl for him, right? Yes, but we ain't got there yet. Well, I'm gonna try to take him next. He don't even know this himself. Your viewers will know this before he does. We're gonna work with him. We're gonna really take him out there. Because he does know his stuff and he does it well. If people just give him a chance. Because he's introducing us to a world we don't know. He donates some of the proceeds from tonight to some non-profits. Uh, Rico and uh, taking back the city, taking the city. And that's good too, right? Anytime, now this is another thing I know you probably know about me. Anytime you can help our people in any way get from one place to the next, I'm for you, brother. Mm -hmm. I'll do anything I can to help you do what you do. That's great. And that's what it's all about. Because I'm a blessed man, I know that. God has truly, truly been good to me. Right. That's why I'm able to do all this free stuff you see me at and doing. Because God made it possible. And only for me to keep him making it possible, I got to keep doing right, gotta keep what doing. he got me to do. That's right. Uh, and and uh, the, um, he shared that, you know, he had been incarcerated. He shared all those things. And then he had come to the other side person like you who move around in the clergy, you see those types of success stories. And when they see people like that, that inspires other people, right? Very true. The problem we have is those that has considered themselves in. And what I'm trying to say is we got a lot of people who are at a level in their life where they forget their history or their past. And they don't let people like Drew loose from his history. 
When I met him and we talked and I found out, I knew all of that. I knew all of that. It didn't matter to me. Right. And it shouldn't matter to you or anybody else. If this young man is willing to step out and, and put everything he has into his place, his niche, his place of being in this country, then support him. That helps all of us. Mm -hmm. and, and when you look around in this room and you see all these people who are supporting. I just told Michelle Hilton, and you know Michelle, and so do a lot of people listening to your show. I just went over and whispered in her ear. We had to get together on this, because we need to make more of this kind of happen. All of the entrepreneurs, young business, black young business people in this place. I want people to make sure they hear you. Stay by right there. Go. All of them, the young people in black business, entrepreneurs starting out on their own, they need to be aware that there's somebody out here. Michelle Hilton is a superstar in trying to help our black businesses get from one level to the next. And Lee County, the Board of County Commissioners will vote next week, I think, on a program that my company is involved with. They will be paying us to help black businesses, startups and all of them get from one level to the next. What's the name of that program? Do you know yet? But, but the key to it is we're going to be out there with Phyllis Calloway. Our office is going to be in Suite 5. We're going to be out there working with her and everybody else to try to make this happen for our local community. You heard it right here on Lee You Pitch heard Live. it live right here on Lee I'm Pitch. sure I'll be talking about that in the future. You sure hey, will. Um, the, um, what do you hope, uh, Lee, this is the real Lee, what do you hope when people leave here tonight that they would have taken from this whole experience? Not only did they have an opportunity to enjoy and engage in an etiquette that we're not used to engaging in. They have a first time experience. But in that experience, they also bless the people of our community, the less fortunate, the underserved, the ones that are trying to get by the organizations that not only Drew is helping himself, but he is also lifting them up with the financial support of this benefit. You can't beat it no other way, this brother. This is the most passion I've ever seen out of Lee Ford. Always quiet, move around. You were a sponsor. You were helped them out as a sponsor tonight. That's correct. Quietly move along. But I can tell right now you are really passionate about it what you're witnessing and what you've experienced. Our people as a whole, not everybody, but our people have missed out so much on the opportunities and advantages of being an American citizen. We got problems now. Trust me, I'm a black man, I see it every day. But there are so many blessings in this country that we live in. We so is consumed in the negative that we miss out on the blessings. When you see a young brother or a young sister trying to go from one place, help her, bless her, don't, don't condemn her. If, if she made some mistakes in the past or he made some mistakes in the past, forget that, forget that. Bless them. Do what you can to help them get to the next level because what that's going to do for you and yours is open up more doors and opportunities for them coming behind them. Amen. You heard it right here from the master himself, the Grand Don of Dunbar, over there at First Assembly Cornerstone. Helping people, help people, help people. Lee Ford has come out as a sponsor and as an individual to help another person to be a part of us seeing Chef Drove rise up. And tonight is his night and he has lived up to all of the expectations. I want you to take 30 seconds, look into that camera, and say some closing words about your thoughts to Chef Dro. Brother Dro, I am so proud of you. 
I remember you back in the day when you were just starting out. And we've had some very serious and intimate conversations about what we, next steps, basically. I look at your family, how have grown, those kids have grown. The wife is, is stellar, beautiful. She's well represented of you and your family. Keep going, brother. As I know, myself as a businessman is never easy. But every day, keep moving, keep stepping forward, one step at a time. And God, I'm gonna tell you, God will bless anything that he put in you to do. And I believe you are ordained for this effort. God bless you, my brother. And if you need me, you know where I am. Anytime. I just gotta leave it right there. Remember, Miami has the oranges, but yes, Chef Creates, Chef Drove, a night of elegance, got the juice. We'll be right back. Lee Pitts Live is a Lee Pitts Enterprise production. Hello, everybody. This is Lee. I'm so glad that you watched that particular show. And if you enjoyed that show, we got other shows like that. Just subscribe to our YouTube channel. Watch Lee Pitts Live on demand anytime. And also hit us up on all our social media platforms. Just type in Lee Pitts Live and there you go.